what we gonna do now is learn our project on an android emulator so you really don't need a physical device when you're developing android application you can simply create an emulator learn your project on that emulator test it and do a lot of things using the emulator which we are going to discuss in this video so to begin click on the drop down here it's found on your toolbar and then you'll see a list of your created emulator under these available devices if you have not created an emulator this one will not appear it's only appearing because i've created this one but i'm going to take you through the process of creating a new one and learning our project in that new emulator so to create to create a new emulator click on avd manager and then here you're going to see a list of created emulators to create a new one select or click create new virtual device then select the hardware that you want to use under the categories you can select a tv hardware phone wear OS, tablet automotives in this case we only need a phone emulator and then select the whether you want it to have play store the size that you want in my case i'm going to select pixel 3a that has play store the sizes five to six inches and then i'm going to click next you select the system image that is going to be deployed to that hardware so here you need to do uh, we have three tabs we have recommended times 86 and others so i like using the recommended and then you can use android uh, version that you want so in this case if you want to test on android 11 android 10 android 9 select any that you want if it's not downloaded first click download so i'm going to select android 11 that is android l it's already downloaded that's why we don't have the options for download so i'm going to select it and then click next give your project or the avd uh, name in this case i'm just going to say this is a new uh, avd so we have pixel 3a api 13 and it's a new avd uh, you can leave the list of the settings at de as default and then click finish so that's the process of creating a new emulator so you're going to see the new emulator here you can simply launch it by clicking this one or you can stop it delete it edit it using these other options so instead of learning it from this point i'm just going to close this one and go to my drop down and select i want to learn this specific project on the pixel 3a api the new avd that you have created click this button it's the run button is it complete configuring and learning your project so give it some time so the emulator is launching as you can see that is google powered by android it's just like a physical phone here on the sides you can see the features of a physical phone all the emulator that act like a physical phone so let's see what uh, is going to happen looking at the status bar that was installing and then launching the project so as you uh, as you can see our project is having a single screen with a word that is or a text hello world we also have the title that is hello world remember the reason we are seeing this is because we have not added anything to our project this project is a default template that is empty activity and once you learn it it only displays a hello world in one screen and the title so to touch on the features of an emulator it's just like a physical phone we have the power button here you can switch on you can switch uh, off using this button you have the volume up you have the volume down you can do a uh, rotation that is left light rotation 
if you want to take cameras like you're developing a project or an application that requires you to take a camera you can zoom the emulator in and out these are a back button just like your normal android phone as you can see this is a home button that minimizes the screens then we have the overview uh, button and we have more features of the emulator for example when you're working with maps you're developing a project that requires you to test maps you can use emulator it has locations here display you can do a display that is um you can add a secondary display but by default we have 1080 to 220 or 2220 you can be able to test the cellular network battery some applications are developed for batteries testing that is health of the battery you can do testing here we have camera we have phone you can test the dial the election of pads you can test your microphone fingerprints virtual sensors like when your phone is rotated left light bug reports if your application when it clashes whether it's going to um to report the bug snapshot records and playback this is when you want to record like something in your phone you can develop an application that records the phone's uh, screen you want to test google play services you want to do some settings on your emulator like you want to do the game change keyboard and then here we have the help so these are basically the features that comes with an emulator as you have seen it's just like a normal android phone.